Hi everybody, Adam here. Welcome back to our Lego room. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at three awesome Lego locomotive instruction sets that I picked up from Block Junction for the A1 Terrier. Really awesome looking British steam locomotive. And I think this is going to be an excellent addition to our collection and our layout. Now, all three of these models were designed by Trace Pierce and the instruction sets for them were put together by William Elliott. One of the things that I first do when picking up instructions for a new locomotive is to do a bit of research on it to better understand uh, the time frame and what railway they were used by just to get an idea of you know some of the train cars that we might uh, pair up with the locomotive uh, the types of buildings that might be seen around a locomotive like this and in the case of the a1 terrier i thought it was interesting that it was used by the london brighton and south coast railway and it was originally designed by William Stroudley. And it looks like 50 members of this class of locomotive were built between 1872 and 1880 at the Brighton Works. I also thought it was interesting to learn that the Terrier name came from the distinctive bark of the exhaust beat. Just an interesting little factoid to, to learn. And, you know, I'll include a link below to the Wikipedia page for this class of locomotive uh, if you're interested in learning more about it. But, you know, really interesting, I think, to get that context on the year and sort of initial railway that the, the locomotive was used by, uh, just to kind of inform possibilities about where we might go with this uh, model and what we might pair it up with. Now, one of the things you'll note looking at images of this locomotive in the real world is that the designer has done a really amazing job of capturing some of the distinct shapes and lines across the uh, the top of the locomotive in particular, but really across the entire uh, the entire locomotive. You know, it's great when you can look at a, uh, a Lego locomotive model and be like, you know, that looks awesome. It's a really, really great and well-built uh, model, but it's really, uh, really takes something to the next level when not only does it look great, but you can then compare it side by side to a picture of the real world equivalent and be like, wow, they've really done an amazing job of capturing all the details and likeness of that locomotive. So awesome work by the designer here in putting, uh, putting these models together. Now it's worth noting that you can build non-powered versions of these locomotives, or you can build powered versions of them using circuit cube motors. And as we've talked about in other videos on the channel, I've picked up a few circuit cube motors. We'll be talking more about those and some of the models we want to use them in in an upcoming video. Uh, but, you know, it's really great to see that um, the, you know, you can do a powered version of this locomotive given the smaller size of the circuit cube motors, which really aids in keeping that, um, sort of distinctive size and shape of these uh, these locomotives. So awesome that you can uh, that you can do either or when it comes to this particular model. And I really like the fact that they've included instructions here for the different forms of the the locomotive. We've got the A1X versus the A1. And you can see over here we've got the Isle of Wight livery here for for one of the locomotives so it's a really nice sort of combo package here to um, give you options for how you want to uh, build and use this this locomotive
Now, I will include links below to the Block Junction websites that you can check out some of the great instruction sets they have in their store, uh, including the A1 Terriers. You can purchase the A1 Terrier instruction sets individually, or you can buy the three of them as a package. Really awesome models in the, the Block Junction store, so I highly recommend checking it out. Now, we will do upcoming videos on the circuit cube motors, as I mentioned, and we will do some videos once these locomotives are built as well. So definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, so you don't miss out on those videos or any of the other awesome videos that we have upcoming in the days and weeks ahead. And thank you very much for watching and joining us as we took a look at the A1 Terrier instruction sets from Block Junction. Take care and we'll see you again soon. Bye.